stories. Um, I used to um, love to listen to the radio at night when I'd go to bed. And I had a, a portable radio right next to my bed. It was about that big. And um, uh, it had a big sort of a green-yellow dial on it, which was really cool. I remember laying in bed before it got dark, going to sleep. And uh, But I would listen to radio programs, listen to Fibber McGee and Molly and uh, Charlie McCarthy and Jack Denny. One of my favorite uh, programs was Fred Waring and the Pennsylvanians because um, <laughs> because on that show they had a guy named Uncle Lumpy and he would tell little Orly stories and um, and I really love those and so we're going to do one of them now for you a little Orly and the cricket. So he looked over by the big red barn and out in the big green field, and pretty soon, sure enough, he found himself a little old black cricket. And he, and he uh, started off towards his home, and uh, he happened to pass the blacksmith's shop. And uh, the old smith, he heard the cricket chirping, and he said, Well, wow, Orly, that, that's a mighty fine cricket you got there. I sure wish I had one. So Orly stepped up, and he gave the smith the cricket. And then he stepped back and he said, I went all day for to get myself a cricket. I got myself a cricket and I gave them to you, but you give me nothing at all. Well, the smith felt kind of bad, so he reached up and pulled a great big old brand new hole that he'd made off the wall and gave it to Orly. Orly put the hole over his shoulders and head off down the road again. I went all day for to get myself a cricket. I got myself a cricket and I give it to the smith. He give me a hoe and I give it to you, but you give me nothing at all. <laughs> Just about that time, the old man hit water. So he filled a pail full of water and, and gave it to Orly, and Orly hit off down the road towards home once again. <laughs> <laughs> he came to a great big old tree by the road that was a kind of a creaking and a groaning in the wind and the tree saw that water and said, I wish I had some of that water to oil my old aching, creaking joints. So Worley stepped up and poured the water on the tree and he stepped back and he said, I went all day for to give myself a cricket and I got myself a cricket and I give it to the smith. He gave me a hoe and I give it to the old man. He gave me water and I give it to you, but you give me nothing at all. <laughs> well, the tree felt kind of bad, so he reached up and, and plucked a great big old green katydid off one of his branches and handed it down to Orly. Orly took the katydid and hit off down the road again. sitting there and he said, howdy, he said, howdy, Orly. He says, howdy, Orly. He says, uh, it's a mighty fine Katie did you got there. Mind if I have a look? So Orly showed him the Katie did and zips out the old frog, grabbed the Katie did and boop, swallowed him. Well, Orly was good and mad at this point, so he stepped back and he said, I went all day for to get myself a cricket, and I got myself a cricket, and I gave it to the smith, he gave me a hoe, and I gave it to the old man, he gave me water, give it to the tree, he gave me a baby did, and you went him up, and you gave me nothing at all. Well, the old frog looked at Orly and he said, uh-huh. Now, what's more, I ain't gonna give you nothing. And he dived, curved plop, into the pond. 
<laughs> All of which just goes to show you that you can't always expect to get every time you give. And if you do expect it, expect it, one of these days you're going to lose your Katie did. Orly did. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> 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 <laughs>